everyone, welcome back to another video uh, where today I'm going to be teaching you an original trick that I came up with, um, I don't know, about a month ago. Um, but anyhow, if you guys are wondering, I'm using the Bicycle 808 deck. Um, uh, it's not a horrible deck, um, it's actually pretty nice. I like the design though. Um, it's very, I don't know, I guess you could say old fashioned, but. Um, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip the chit chat on this one, and let's get straight to the trick. And, uh, as I just said that, I wanna point out, um, that we're using the new light blue mat, this is what it looks like, and hopefully you guys do like that. But this trick, um, I actually haven't come up with a name for it, um, so I need help on that front. So guys, tell me below what you wanna call this trick. Um, I've got a few ideas, but I'd like it to be very simple. Um, preferably one word, kind of like the illusionist, illusionist effects, like where it's just like, you know, just really simple one word tricks. Um, I like that a lot. Okay, let's go and get into it. So, um, uh, for this trick, uh, the cards, they can be shuffled. Um, it really just doesn't matter the order. Um, there's no duplicates, there's no gimmicks. It is completely gimmickless. Um, so let's go ahead and have the spectator go ahead and select a card. All right. So, for this trick, it is imperative that I not see this card. So, um, I'll go ahead and show it to you guys. Um, now, I can promise I don't know what this card is right now. Um, but, uh, here's what we're going to do. Um, I'll show you um, uh, I'll show you your card right, right there. I'm, I'm not seeing it, so um, you can see it one last time here. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to outdraw it like this. Put it into the deck just like that, right? So look, here's the deal. Um, we'll go ahead and give the cards just a quick shuffle, all right, just like this, um, and then we'll go ahead and flip over the whole deck, all right, just like this, right? So look, um, here's the deal. I'm gonna pull out six cards, um, and I'm hoping that one of them is yours. But for this, I need the box. Um, so here we go. We're gonna pull out. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's pull out the Ace of Hearts. That could be your card. That's a pretty good prospect right there. One, two, three. Four, five, and six right here. So I've got, I think I've got six cards here. Um, I'm not 100% on that one. Um, let me see here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. Um, I do believe I have indeed uh, six cards. So um, now, you know, uh, maybe you weren't paying attention. So I'll go ahead and show them to you. Um, if I can pull them all out. Okay, there we go. So I'll go ahead and show them all to you. Um, so we have the Ace of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts, the Six of Spades, Three of Clubs, Ace of Clubs, and Queen of Clubs. Um, now, um, I'm going to go ahead and insert them into the box right here so that no one can touch them and that I can't mess with them. So they're in the box right there. Alright, I'm going to leave it in the top corner here, just like that. Um, and now, let's see. Um, I think um, that, you know, I don't know. I, it's kind of risky because I don't know if I put your card in there or not. So, um, here's the deal. I want you to tell me what was your card. Um, okay, well, since I didn't look at it through the camera, um, I don't really know what your card is. So, I don't really know. Um, but, um, you know, I would just spread out the cards here. And if you want, you can pause the video um, and just check and see if your card's in here. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Because, um, you know, I mean, did you see it go into the box? Uh, you you didn't okay so it, so it has to be here so um just just let me know if you see it um you know I'm not I I don't I mean you haven't said anything so I don't think it's here so wait um am I missing the card like did you like steal it or something um uh, no okay a watch um here actually um. You know, you, everyone asks me how I get my how I get my cards, and all I have to do is snap, um, just like that. And you'll see that now we've got. Wait, hold on. We've got a card flipped over in here. What was your card? Dun dun dun. And you'll see that that was none other than your card, the Jack of Diamonds. So guys, that's the trick. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. And let's go ahead and jump straight for into this trick. The um, all you're gonna need to do is um, have a shuffled pack of cards. You want to make sure they know that. Because um, this is kind of like one of those tricks where, um, you know, they'll oftentimes think like, oh, you saw my card or whatnot. Um, and you want to make sure that doesn't happen. So make sure the cards are thoroughly shuffled. Um, you can do whatever um, fancy cuts you want. 
it really doesn't matter um, okay that was actually false so anyhow um, so here's the deal to start off you have them of course select card I'll give it one more quick shuffle um, select a card bang let's say they selected the jack of hearts soulmate the jack of diamonds whoa okay so for me personally I think most of you guys caught this but um, I did a uh, I did a call so I showed you the jack of hearts pulled it underneath like this um, and then control it to the bottom. Now, if you want, um, you can just use the double undercut. It's a very simple move. Um, you insert the card in the back, push it in, get a break, cut one half of those cards to the top, then cut the other half, and you've got it on top, and then you can just overhand shuffle it to the bottom if you want. Um, but I'm not going to go too much in detail. You can just go to our channel page um, for a control there um, to that you can use. So, um, Here's the deal. Once you've got it on the bottom, you need to bring it to the top. Just make sure um, that you make them believe that it's lost in the deck. That's very important as well. Um, and then you're going to do a move known as the Browie Reversal. So once you've got it on top, Browie Reversal. Get a break underneath the top card. And it's basically the double undercut, except when you pull the cards on top, you're flipping it over. So now I've got the jack on the bottom here. That's where my break is. So I flip the rest of the cards on top just like that. So I've got it flipped over on the bottom, so it's reversed. So that's the only card, and it's reversed on the bottom. So um, uh, we do have a tutorial on that. That'll be somewhere um, on our channel. You can go ahead and search Browy Reversal if you want on our channel if you want to learn that. Um, there could be a link on the screen. I don't know. I mean, most YouTubers forget to put their links in, but we will try. So um, once you've got it flipped over on the bottom, Here's what you're going to do. You're going to pull out six cards, all right? Um, you're just going to outjog them. So one, two, three, four, five, then six. So you want to pull out cards, um, the bulk of your cards, near the bottom. Um, that will help disguise the card as you pull it out with it. So you've got the jack here, and you kind of want to square up the cards to the side like this, um, going towards your deck hand. Um, so it's kind of facing into your deck hand, pointing away from your thumb. So you've got it kind of in this position. You want to put it pretty deep in. Um, you want to put it almost at this. If you're at an angle like this, it'll align with the pip right there. All right, and here's what you're going to do. You're going to do a move known as the Vernon Transfer. Now, um, I used to do the Vernon Transfer um, to get my break on the bottom card. I just riffle down that bottom card. That works perfectly fine. You need a break underneath the bottom card, though. For me now, I use a move known as the Buckle. All right, it does that, right? And I'm just pushing down on that card. Okay, I'm not going to teach that move right now. You can riffle down one card if you'd like. Um, you get your Buckle right there. And you're basically taking the card in. It's almost gambler's cop, but it's it's not. You can you can kind of use gambler's cop, but it's not going to be exactly the same. Um, but you push down on that card, and you're going to have it in like this position between your your pinky and kind of the fleshy part of your hand. So you have it in your deck hand like this. You pull down one card, boom. And now when you do this, don't just pull out the cards like that. That will work sometimes but it doesn't always work. You want to go to the side like this and then pull it out. That way you can square up all the cards, get them in a nice firm grip, and then pull them out. Now, here's another tip. Don't squeeze too tightly with your deck hand, or the hand that was holding the deck here. Here, let me demonstrate this one more time for you guys. So you have your six cards, right? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you've got your six cards, right? Um, you're going to out jog to the side, put it pretty deep in, just like so, and then you're holding the deck between uh, your pointer finger, yeah, for you guys be your pointer finger, and your thumb in the back, just like this, so it creates like this area right here. Um, then you do your buckle or get your break, um, bring the card underneath the deck, so it'd be like this, you bring the card underneath, and then you just bring it to the side, square up, pull out. You don't want to press too hard on this hand, though. Otherwise, um, it's going to be impossibly hard to pull the card out. Okay, so next what you're going to do, this is really simple. Um, you just riffle down one, two, just like that. And then uh, you get your break, all right? And you just pull off cards, one, two, three, four, five. And you reach the two cards, you just put it down as one. So you're just showing all the cards very cleanly, very fair. The, this is kind of a convincer. It's not completely necessary, but it helps. Now, for just for presentation's sake, 
um, just so that the flipped over card isn't one from the top, I just like to riffle down one, two, and bring it to the top, just like that. And so that way, I get um, their card into the middle. So I just riffle down two cards, put it on top as a cut. And if you do this casually, they don't notice the thing. Then you insert in the box, show the box is empty, make sure you do that. People will question, um, and then bang, put it into the box, boom, you got it. Next, from here on, it's just presentation. Um, I like to kind of play around with the spectator, like, oh, did you steal the card? Or like, you know, you must be a magician yourself, because the card's not here. Um, just do whatever you want. Make them uh, feel kind of in control, like you don't know what's going on. But then you want to take control of the situation one big sweep. With the snap of your fingers, all of a sudden, a card appears in the box right here. Now, if you want, um, since I control the the card to the bottom first, um, I can actually glimpse it by doing this. Alright, so um, just by doing that, I'm able to glimpse the bottom card, um, and then I can do, uh, just make it a prediction trick, like a mentalism effect, um, but you know, there's so many different variations of this trick. Um, there's one variation that I came up with where um, you make it look like, you don't do the flipped over card thing, and you have it on top here, right? And you make it look like you put all the cards in the box, right? Um, so you would put them all into the box, right? Um, if I can here. You see, I'm very bad at this, but... Um, you want to make it look like you put all the cards in the box, cop it off, put it down, and insert it back onto the pack, right? And then you just have one card in here, and that's their card. Um, that variation is very hard, but I've never performed it on anyone, and I'm still working on it, but, you know, you can play around with it. So, guys, that is the trick. Don't forget to name it down below. I want to hear you guys' suggestions, if you have any ideas for the trick. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, um, with that, uh, here comes the very cliche ending of don't forget to leave a like, comment below, and subscribe. That really helps us out. Um, but also, if you could hit... Um, the notification button and join the notification squad. We don't have one actually, but um, you know, if you could do that, that would be really helpful to make sure you don't get unsubbed from us. So, anyhow, thank you so much for watching this video, and with that I'll see you all in the next video.